All right, everybody, welcome back to Digital Marketers Content Marketing Certification. My name is Russ Henneberry. I'm Director of Editorial at Digital Marketer, and we are on to the middle of the funnel. We're in lesson three, and I'm excited to, to cover lesson three with you. So let's take a look at what lesson three, middle of the funnel, what, what are we going to be talking about in this lesson? So we're in the middle of this graphic here, our content life cycle, and we're going to be talking again about the goals, the content types, and the metrics at the middle of the funnel. Now the middle of the funnel is in, uh, it's important in its own right. Remember this is the evaluation stage for your prospect or your even, even existing customers that you're looking to migrate over into, into different product lines or upsell or cross sell. So in the middle of the funnel we're talking about evaluation. So our content strategy has to change. We have to develop new types of content in the middle of the funnel and in order to push people through from the middle down into the bottom of the funnel where they're going to convert. All right. So let's take a look at our middle of funnel goals. These are the things that when you're talking with your employer or you're, you're, you're you know, working through this with your clients or you're thinking about your own business, these are the things you might want to be trying to achieve. And if these are the things you're trying to achieve, you're looking in the middle of the funnel. You are looking at middle of funnel content marketing. So on the left side over here, we have goals. Uh, and we're in the middle of the funnel. So we're looking at list growth and lead growth. All right. So we want to see that we are migrating people from awareness at the top of the funnel down into the middle of the funnel and that they are starting to migrate in as leads. All right. So we're going to use different types of content uh, to achieve that goal than we used at the top of the funnel. Another thing we're trying to do, and we're trying to do this at all stages of the funnel is grow retargeting lists, you know, owned lists that we can retarget. Remember those ads that follow us around the web. We've been talking about those. We've talked about them at the top of the funnel. We're going to have a different use for retargeting in the middle of the funnel. And then the last thing that we're going to be trying to achieve in the middle of the funnel actually is initial customer acquisition. So a lot of funnels will talk about how conversion only happens in the bottom of the funnel. But at Digital Marketer, we use a system that I will show you um, in this section that allows us to compress that time that somebody can go from you know, awareness to evaluation to initial conversion and we compress that up into the middle of the funnel. All right, and we'll talk about how we do that as we move along here. So those are our three big goals in the middle of the funnel. Let's take a look at how these look. So email list, uh, lead growth, growing retargeting lists, initial customer acquisition, and of course, anything else that you find that particularly suits the circumstances of your business could be added here as well as a goal in the middle of the funnel. All right, so let's take a look at what this looks like. So for email list and lead growth, we're really talking about things like you see in the upper right hand corner here on our property called DIY Ready, where we are asking people to give us their contact information in exchange for some kind of a, uh, you know, we're going to give them more content or we're going to give them some kind of specific piece of content. You know, you see also uh, earlier we looked at IKEA as an example here where, you know, we're asking them, they're in the evaluation stage, they're looking at pricing for furniture and IKEA knows that a good middle of funnel offer is that catalog, right? The, the catalog that um, gives the pricing, pictures of their products, things like that. That's a great middle of funnel offer and piece of content for IKEA, all right? But you can see that it requires an email address, first name, last name, and a little bit more information in order to get that piece of content. All right, now growing retargeting lists in the middle of the funnel is about taking people that have taking a look at your middle of funnel offer, in other, the, in other words, the offer that is being offered in, in exchange for their contact information and retargeting them. So you can see that this is one of our lead magnets, which we'll talk more about as we move along here, what a lead magnet is and how to build one. And this is one of our lead magnets and you've got uh, 
a list. You know, you can see that inside of Facebook, which is what you're seeing on the right screen here, is a list of 26,500 people that have visited the 212 blog post ideas landing page and did not convert. All right, so if they visited this page and didn't convert, we're going to want to retarget them and bring them back into that offer. Maybe they maybe their kids started screaming upstairs or maybe they got busy and didn't didn't end up downloading this resource for whatever reason. So we retarget them, we bring them back and convert more people on this offer. So growing retargeting lists at the middle of the funnel is really about bringing people back to offers that ask for their contact information. All right, so another example here in the retargeting space is you've got, you know, uh, you've got an ad, an ad here for a product here that you call, um, you know, that we're offering a flash sale here, $10 buyer intelligence software, and we're running that to this list of people that have seen this offer, right? So they've been on freshkey.com, which freshkey is where we offer, make this offer, and we're gonna retarget this list, this custom audience, with this offer that we're running a flash sale. So you might have thought about the offer at $30, but now we're running a flash sale. You looked at the offer at a prior time at $30. How would you like it if we gave it to you at a flash sale price of $10? So that's a good way to retarget people and bring people back into an offer, into an initial uh, low dollar offer, which is another thing that we're trying to do at the middle of the funnel with our content is bring people back and acquire customers uh, based on their prior behavior. So initial customer acquisition is another major goal in the middle of the funnel. Now remember I was talking earlier about how um, some uh, marketing funnels or most marketing funnels are going to put conversion all the way at the bottom where you know, that's where you're going to get your initial customer. But what we like to do at Digital Marketer with all of our businesses is, is, is convert that lead into a customer as quickly as possible in the middle of the funnel, if possible. All right, so immediately after becoming a lead, we will often, wherever possible, make a, a, a low dollar offer to new leads in order to convert them into a customer in the middle of the funnel. Literally seconds after they download a resource like this, where we've got ultimate list of blog post ideas, we've got a piece of content that somebody wants to uh, acquire and they're gonna give us their email address, immediately following that, literally on the thank you page of the, uh, the initial opt-in, we'll make them an offer for something that's you know, between one and $20 if possible in order to initially acquire the customer and convert them immediately into a customer. And that's why uh, in our funnel system, we like to try, if possible, if we can, if we can make the offer uh, work, to acquire customers in the middle of the funnel, if possible. So, uh, initial customer acquisition is really um, achieved this way. You know, we drive people from content into more content that asks for an opt-in and then make an initial low dollar offer. We actually call it a trip wire offer and we make that low dollar offer. Uh, so anything between one and $20 usually works best and convert them quickly into a customer. All right, now in the next set of videos, we're gonna be talking about the content types that we use in the middle of the funnel in order to acquire leads and initial customers. We'll see you there.